Good afternoon. Today, I will be presenting on school-wide positive behavior intervention support as a positive approach to discipline. From here on out, I will be referring to school-wide positive behavior intervention support as PBIS. PBIS is not a program, but rather a systematic comprehensive framework that will create a positive school culture if implemented with fidelity that impacts students, teachers, and the school organization as a whole. PBIS is evidence-based and is an effective response to intervention model as it is aligned to the multi-tiered levels of support. The response to intervention model, or RTI, has three levels of interventions to support both academics and behavior. Tier 1 support is universal and offers interventions to all students, focusing on 80 to 90 percent of the students. Tier 2 support is targeted intervention that meets the needs of 5 to 15 percent of students, in which the intervention is delivered in small group instruction. Tier 3 support is intensive intervention that meets the needs of 1 to 5 percent of students and is delivered one-on-one -on -one by an expert such as a social worker or school counselor. The PBIS framework consists of establishing uniform behavior expectations, focuses on positive interactions using the positivity ratio of 4 to 1, 4 positive interactions to 1 corrective action, which helps to build resiliency in students. The behavior expectations are taught school-wide and reinforced through the use of a token economy. Students are taught prosocial skills and active supervision by adults using the PBIS principles in unstructured areas such as recess helps to reinforce the behavior expectations through consistent actions by the school staff. PBIS is implemented through a distributive leadership model where a team of diverse stakeholders meets regularly to analyze discipline data to assess gaps in order to strengthen programs and services for students. A review of the literature finds much support across the research that PBIS is effective in reducing challenging student behavior as evidenced by less disciplinary referrals and exclusionary discipline. As a result, time on task and instructional time has increased. Since PBIS is based on the positivity ratio, the student-teacher relationship is improved and teachers have reported a greater sense of self-efficacy while promoting better home-to-school communications due to the emphasis on positivity. Kelman McIntosh found that PBIS schools had less office disciplinary referrals, which increased on-task behavior and instruction. Bradshaw et al. found a strong correlation to organizational health in the areas of principal influence, staff affiliation, and academic emphasis. Ross and Horner's study found that teachers had an increased feeling of effectiveness that contributed to their sense of well-being. Myers, Simonson, and Sagai found that teachers who utilized the RTI model of Tier 2 and Tier 3 strategies using the PBIS principles were effective in decreasing challenging behavior. Lassen, Steele, and Saylor, along with McIntosh, Bennett, and Price's studies, found a strong correlation between PBIS implementation and improved math, reading, and writing scores on standardized tests. The significance of PBIS is that it helps students learn pro-social skills, it provides teachers with the tools to reach students and build better rapport, it focuses on positive interactions, it creates a communities of practice approach that is school-wide, and it leads to better school-to-home relationships because of its positive approach to discipline and has led to increased statewide adoptions, such as in the states of Maryland and Illinois. Furthermore, according to Horner, PBIS implementation has led to a decrease in office discipline referrals or ODRs of 20 to 60 percent in schools. This concludes my presentation on PBIS. Thank you for your attention.